Hi, this is Ed with Sapphire with another gameplay video for you. And today we're going to be taking a look at Watch Dogs. Now, Watch Dogs is a game that it, it defies it defies being able to be pigeonholed into a style of gameplay. Uh, it's open world, but it's got it's got some very railed elements for the mission play. It's a mix between spy and gangster and good guy and bad guy and everything else you can imagine. The basic premise revolves around a very central point, and the central point is is the city of Chicago has decided that everything is going to be controlled by a single program. Not a very bright idea. Somebody's cousin obviously was paid off, as Chicago politics is known to do. I can say this, by the way, being from Illinois. Uh, the game puts you into this position where you got this tool that allows you to hack the planet, for lack of a better word. The game reminds me a lot of the television series Person of Interest, because you've got this ability, as you can see, where you can basically look at what other people are doing. It can be from cell phone calls, you can see what they're doing on their tablet, what their texting is doing, you can get profiles on the people, you can look at all of this stuff and decide which direction you want to go. The game carries a lot of elements with it from other aspects of games similar. The game also reminds me a great deal of Grand Theft Auto. Uh, the general open world style is very similar. The gameplay is very similar. The biggest difference is it's it's like they took the, the concepts of Grand Theft Auto and a few other games of various genres and combined them together with a good, solid graphics engine. Now, for these pretty graphics, though, we've okay, had to control. step up our game quite a bit. The gameplay today. video you're watching is being run on an so R9 290 Vapor X, my personal favorite card, with settings maxed out. All right, at 1080. And even then, even though it's running at that, we're not getting amazing frame rates, but we're getting very playable frame rates. Uh, this is a game that requires some graphics horsepower if you're going to jack up all the detail of the eye candy. Now, as you can see, though, the eye candy looks very nice. We're getting very, very playable frame rates, very smooth playback. I wouldn't take this to 1440 with this resolution on a 290. I'm not even sure a 290X would push 1440 at, these, at this kind of detail level extremely well. It could do the job. But this game is demanding. Now, this may change. Uh, I've been seeing some stuff on the internet. You notice that that's kind of odd. I would be a little concerned about that individual where my facial recognition of my hack software fails on one person. Um, this is a game that's going to push the edge of the envelope. When I read various reviews online and I talk to people that are playing the game, there is a lot of mixed results with some of the stuff with the gameplay. So right now, I would say we're waiting for some more optimization in the game. I, I would bet the game needs a little bit more work. A patch or two down the road is probably going to smooth out gameplay. Uh, the gameplay is fairly straightforward. I, I mean, you're not going to see anything here that's really all that different, except for the hacking ability. Now, this ability can come in very handy. It lets you easily and quickly, as we've already said, check out individuals. You can find out about them. You can, you can get little bits of information. And this is the part that reminds me of persons of interest. This ability to quickly and easily get this done. And I think that that's great. Persons of interest, I've thought for the, for the last season, really, in their show, I kept thinking, man, wouldn't it be cool if you could play this game? Well, now you can only instead of persons of interest, we're going to call it, well, we're, we're going to call it Watchdogs. Um, so close. you're going to run around. Let's see how this you're going to find out. people, try to commit tribes. You're going to try to stop the crimes. You've got this. It, like I said, there's a lot of different things going on. We're going to crouch down here now. Hey, we need to talk. Uh, wait, wait, to wait. Talk the chance of we're committing a crime, it's going Do up. It's wrong. going up. Get away. Oh, there it is. Oh, I'll teach you. There it is. It's time for We're me to intervene. I'm going to no. jump up on it. Here I, I come, buddy. Jump. Hey, leave her alone. Oh, oh, oh. There is something very satisfying 
about whacking somebody in the leg and then taking the same metal bar and smacking their face as they go to the ground when they're accosting a young woman. That's kind of fun. Uh, you got the skill trees that are going to open up. So we're going to run around the map here a little bit more. We're going to add to our skills. Now, the skill tree is fairly deep. So you're going to have the potential to actually get quite a bit. You're going to drive. You're going to hack. Hacking, though, is probably the single most important thing that you're going to see throughout this game. You're going to see lots of hacking. The other thing is, like I said, there's driving skills. You actually are going to have driving where you drive around in this game. That, to me, is one of the weak spots of the game. Uh, I hate driving with a keyboard and a mouse. I really think a good driving game is one where you need a steering wheel. And this game doesn't do a bad job of allowing a keyboard and a mouse as driving control. It doesn't do a great job. But you can get around it. You can, you can drive around. Don't expect that you're going to be Mario Andretti in the streets. And for all of you that are not old enough to know who that is, don't expect you're going to be uh, uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. in the streets. But realize that you're going to be who you are. Uh, there's online gameplay. This, the multiplayer didn't impress me a whole lot. The single player, to me, is much nicer looking. So we're going to look here at some vehicles that are in demand and motorcycles. Ooh, we could ride a motorcycle. Okay, she's ready when you are. All right, we're going to get the motorcycle. Let's take the motorcycle for a test spin. Yeah. We're going to run across the street here and go get our motorcycle. I want to try out the motorcycle and see what it's like. There it is. So we're going to get on our bike and vroom, vroom, here we go. And, and like I said, you can, you can do it, but it's it's not necessarily at its best. Now here we're going we're gonna to cut the scene here and come back. And again, we're going to intercept phone calls. We're going to intercept audio. We're going to use this giant computer network in the city to gather all of this information and get a feel for what's going on around us. Now, remember again, the video you're watching is being done on a 290 Vapor X with the details maxed out at 1080. This game is a bit demanding. So don't expect to get the same level of playback that we're getting with a lesser card. I'm not saying you can't get great game playback, but if you want that really smooth experience with all the detail I can, you need a little bit more horsepower than normal. Stop trying to uh, the cutscene stories aren't try, bad. You just make things worse. I, I wish there was a little more depth to them. I, I feel like in many cases they're very they contrived. Yeah, there there doesn't great. feel like there's a good organic flow sometimes with them. But overall, the gameplay is very good. This is definitely a game that you want to go play. Now, I have to tell you, I'm not a big fan of this genre oh, of RPG-style play. See how safe you feel when and I the reason I'm not is RPG games with guns tend to be everybody be the there same. You are. And I kind of like the, the feelings and differences that you get with the others. With, with sword and board He's type the games, there's a real difference in the player type. With guns, everybody ends up being the same at the end of the day. Though this guy has, you've got a huge advantage here. You are the hacker. You've got the tools to hack. And there goes, I told you, the driving. I'm not a great driver, guys. I'm much better in real life, I swear. I swear. So the, the driving's the driving's one of the weak points with the way the design is. It's, it's functional. It's doable. But it's not a part that gets me really, really excited. Uh, they did a pretty good job, though, of recreating Chicago. I kind of like the way they recreated Chicago. Hey, you know what? It looks like he's a worse driver than I am. He's on the wrong side of the road. Let's get him. We're on him now. We're going to chase him down. Maybe we want to hack his car. I'm sorry. No. I overreacted. Okay. Maybe we weren't after him. Uh huh. Come on back, okay? I promise. I oh, come on back you. now. Uh, you tell me that. Oh, oh, oh! Big wreck. You're going after that creep, if you're you? interested in well, something a little different, right if you're interested, take him down. Take him down. It's not. Oh. Stop being a hero, Aiden. Let it go. No, there we got him. Uh, if you're wanting to do something different, and the hacking does add a, a different element to it, if you're wanting a fast-paced game that has a lot of a lot of options to it, the sandbox feel, 
and you're willing to understand this this game requires a little bit more horsepower then definitely Watch Dogs is a game for you. So until our next gaming video, go out, play a game, have some fun. We'll see you again soon.